Yeah, he's, he's good. He's active. He's he's athletic. Oh, a Superman punch, maybe. I mean, plus you know, uh, Martin trains with a Michael McDonald, and that guy's just a beast on the on the feet. So I'm, I'm sure he's used to getting hit hard. Absolutely, Mike McDonald recently vacated the championship here to make his way to the WC, picked up an impressive win, and will now be a UFC fighter in 2011. He, he can train UFC. Oh, big punch right there from Tarzan. Nice flurry. Look at these guys going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Oh, there's a big right hand. Tommy Vargas landed a nice one, gets the outside trip. He was actually caught early in the round. But he's excellent still exchange. Back. Yeah, excellent exchange there, but Tommy Vargas went back to his roots. You know, he... he he was given a little bit there, but he was taking some as well. So he figured, hey, let's put this back where I know I can grind away. Yeah, well, that's not where he wants to put the, the fight to be. You know, that's, that's more Martin's game. And even though he, he did good enough in that position, he's like, you know what? Let me go and take him down where I'm good at. Again, working from the guard is Tommy Vargas. Just fine with being on top. Right here, Martin's trying to stuff for the triangle. You see, he, he overhook with his left hand. He's trying to grab the right wrist. But uh, top push, push right through it. Keep, keeping that head in his chest. And again, Martin Sandoval, close to the cage, not really trying to get his back to it or wall walk up. Hey, I guess he feels comfortable here. And you see him using the cage, the toes on the cage there to try to get that arm bar. But, you know, Vargas is over here in his corner. He's getting uh, coaching right away. As soon as the guard breaks, his corner saying, hey, watch the arm, recover. I'm not surprised that Tarzan used his toes on the cage because, I mean, we've seen Tarzan in the movies. <laughs> he had to use everything. Let's go, Tom. Never fist him. Come on. Let's work. The thing with Martin, though, he's a tough guy. You know, when I find him, he's always going to be in there. He, you know, he's, he's always push, push. You push him, he pushes you back. You know, he, he won't quit. Interesting. Rosenthal is, uh, wants the action. I like it. You know, he actually hadn't stalemated too much there, but it, it was starting to stagnate a little bit, and Rosenthal says do it. Well, it came right after Vargas landed the punch. It wasn't a big punch, but it was more of a hammer fist punch. There's Vargas shooting in the single. Yeah, he picked that up for the single. Right? Yeah, Sandoval actually able to stay up this time around. Nice defense. It's so much easier to defend the shot when you don't take it down off the kick. Yeah, absolutely. You have your full balance. You can really sprawl and defend. Now, Vargas should struggle away from the cage, though, because from here, Tommy's going to be able to take him down. Right little trip right here. Sandoval has been acting with his knees, threw a couple knees into the uh, thigh of Vargas. Yeah, he does his best work on the feet for sure. If he can create a little bit of distance and, and try to create a striking exchange. And again, I, I like the idea of the knee. You know Tommy Vargas is going to come in with that shot. You know Tommy's the bigger guy. He doesn't like he's using his weight so much. Right knee. Right knee. Vargas' corner wants the knee. Vargas should with his right hand. He should grab his, uh, his uh, top of Martin's left ankle. Absolutely. Pick the ankle right there. Yeah, try to change things up. See what he can do from top of this. You he know he has the reach. He's taller than Martin. Vargas did have a couple opportunities to land a, a good knee. Chose not to. Didn't want to compromise his position possibly. And there it is again. Referee goes uh, down and bring it to the middle. This is where Sandoval wants to be. He doesn't have much time to work. Yeah, he needs to throw combinations, though. Beautiful takedown. Beautiful driving takedown by Tommy Vargas. Again, we talked about it earlier in the broadcast, the wrestling base. Such a great place to start from. Yeah, it keeps him in control. It keeps him setting the tone for the fight. And he's an aggressor. He is definitely scoring points in the referee's eye. I, just, I don't get it with Tommy Vargas. He, he just loves being in guard. He was in, he was in half mount there. And uh, instead of trying to advance it all, he almost, he almost stepped back in the guard himself. Well, it could be, you know, uh, he's, he, he knows what to what expect in that position. All bars are triangles, you know. And the if he gets half guard, but the guy move up for your legs. So he's like, you know what, let me stay where I know what he can throw at. Just avoid the bread and butter. Yeah, plus, you know, it's, if you try pushing the half, maybe Martin can back to his feet. He's like, I'll stay here, you know, and in control of his position. He's winning the fight of my ass. There he comes There's across the with the arm bar. Tommy Vargas sniffed it out right away, didn't he? Yeah, he almost took his back off this too. Nice left hand as well. See, now Martin's still coming in. So 2-3-2, two, two, use those legs kicks and circle out there. Looks like he's trying to time that shot. He knows it's coming. Well, time the shot, you don't want to run out of time. There's that high kick you talked about. 
But he's just throwing just that kick, though. That's right. why he's getting taken down. End of round two. Tommy Vargas and Martin Sandoval going to add it. Tommy Vargas had a little tougher challenge that second round after dominating the first round. Tarzan is swinging back. That's yeah, still very much in control is Tommy Vargas. I mean, it's Martin Sandoval, again, you know, the lighter weight fighters, that's why I always enjoy him. They can go all 15 minutes. He's a natural flyweight that, that fought this one at 132 pounds, probably didn't have to cut it all. There you see the, the nice left hand. When, when he can strike, uh, Tarzan Sandoval is able to do a little bit of damage, and they had a couple of nice exchanges in this round. Yeah, see, if I was in you know, Martin's corner, I'd tell him, look, man, throw your combination. You know he's going to try to take you down. Go one, two, three, two, come back with that knee as he comes into the shot. You know he's going to try to take you down. You're throwing your one leg kick, he's taking it down, it's not working. You know, you got to throw your combination. But, you know, you're tired, you're like, you know, I'll just throw one shot. You know, I've been there before, you know. And this is Gomez giving his commentator who already said he doesn't even listen to his corner anyway. He listens to another guy's corner. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This thing's overrated. Oh, too funny. All right, round three action. Tachi Palace fights number seven. It's deck to Hall. Sandoval seems, you know, really anxious to tap hands after every break. And <laughs> yeah, when we fought in, uh, in uh, September, October, he was talking during the fight in Spanish. He was saying some stuff like, that's kind of funny, you know. <laughs> kind of throws you off a little bit. You Trash know? talking a little bit? Or? Uh, uh, yeah, he, he might have said a cuss word here and there in Spanish. You know? I don't cuss, so I'm not going to say what he said. But it's, uh, he's, he's a nice guy, though. You know, he means well. See, he's getting a little more tentative. Oh, nice, straight for Tommy Vargas. You see Sandoval being a little bit more tentative. It looks like he's trying to time that shot. He, I think he knows he's down two rounds to none, so he needs to land something flush. And he's going to take some chances. He's got his chin in the action. Almost daring Vargas to throw a punch. Maybe looking for a counter. Sandoval dancing and jiving, shucking a little bit there. See, Martin seems tentative because you should just throw. Like, if he takes you down, get back up. Doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. You know, you're already down two rounds and one, two rounds and none. You just got to make a statement in this round and win the fight. Got to be careful with that kick, as we talked about. Maybe Vargas is tiring a little bit, slowing a little bit, perhaps. Because Martin's so worried about the takedown, Tom is starting to use his hands and catch him off guard, which looks real good. So I'll take to the body. Marcus is going to put up too much of this. He's going to go in and try to take him down once again. Sandoval did spin off the cage there, which is good. He's pressing in, but he wants to push away and create distance. We've seen Vargas be pretty effective from the clinch. It would be nice to see Martin take him down and see how Tom feels off his back. Position, he, you know, he can grab his legs with the double leg and put him on the back, but sometimes it's just set the back. Nice grab. Beautiful. Vargas is just uh, relentless for those takings. Yeah, and right back to close guard, though. You know, he should have pushed the pass towards him. Towards him. I think that was down. Like you said, if you get taken down, you got to get back up. I mean, you know, there's three minutes left in this fight. For 12 minutes, you've been in this position quite a bit, and you haven't been able to get that arm bar. You haven't even really come close to it. There was one time where he kind of, you know, kind of got close, but Vargas just pulled right away. So at this point, I think if you're, if you're Sandoval, right, just break the guard, wall walk up, you know, strip the hips, not do something, but get back to your feet. Well, the arm bar's going to be harder as the fight goes, too, because the sweat plays the factor, you know. Well, the referee has been standing him up, so, I mean, he, he might be looking at that also. I don't have to use up all the energy to actually walk. He doesn't have to use the energy, but Tom, Tom is using up the time. Right. And he got two minutes and 20 seconds to make something happen. You know? There you go. He didn't stand up right now. Yeah, we talked about Sandoval, you know, his last two wins, both in by armbar. Maybe he's falling in love with that move. He thinks it's, you know, it's, it's money, it's there for him all the time. But at this point, it doesn't look like it is. You're 13 minutes in. I think you got to go for broke. You're down two rounds and none. Looks like you're behind again in this round as well. And he did the best when he forced Tommy to change with him. Mm -hmm. And he changed combinations, not just one shot. Yeah, he really did. Got into, got into flurries with him. It was very effective. He's, you know, maybe a little bit quicker. He's got to push forward. Meanwhile, Vargas is, I think, comfortable just taking it easy, riding the clock out. If he's not going to engage, you know, why, why overextend yourself? Right, yeah. Throw a jab, get back in position. Yeah, he's he's been having that job real good this fight. Minute 30 left, round three. Tommy Vargas definitely in control of this fight. Take down! Take down! 
Very dangerous uppercut thrown by Sandoval. Inside leg kick, man. He's throwing a couple of those. Maybe he's trying to set up a high kick, but there you go. Caught that leg, and he's right back on his back. And a closed guard. Why, is you, why, are you, why do you have a closed guard with a minute left in the third round? No one, you're down. I just don't. I, I just don't understand. Well, with Martin, if he's gonna throw that outside leg kick, he needs to throw it as a combination. He just can't throw it there and leave it there. He needs to throw it. one, two, three, two. Throw that kick, circle out. He's just sitting there, you know. And that's how he's getting taken down. And he's okay. I'm gonna land my guard, and you know, Tommy's getting the clock up. And as you saw uh, on that one, uh, Tommy Vargas, he actually landed a punch as he grabbed the leg on the takedown. So yeah. he he's moving. He's doing things. He's engaging more so. But now it's, he doesn't have to engage. He can just ride it out now. Yeah. yeah, I mean, even if the ref stands up, there's still 10 seconds. The chance of him finishing with that short of time is be uh, very hard. I think with 10 seconds left, Sandoval still think I can get this arm bar. <laughs> I think he is. I he got a shot. But no, no matter what Martin, no matter about him, he's always in the fight. True. You know, he doesn't. He doesn't mentally check out like some people do. You know, he's like he's always in there. He's focused. You know, he's he's uh, athletic. We can see the speed that he's shown in there. Some nice striking on the feet. You, you talked about it coming in. Those high kicks. Yeah. Uh, nice. But you know, I think Martin Sandoval is, is going to lose this fight three rounds to none. I think when he goes back and watches this, he's he's just going to realize you know he was too comfortable in that position. And uh, you know that's where exactly where Vargas wanted to be. Vargas had no intention of passing the guard. Vargas had no intention of doing anything other than just grinding away from the top. And uh, for Martin Sandoval to just stay on his back and, and work that closed guard and look for the armbar every now and then, it just just the wrong decision. Yeah, for Martin, I would work on combinations, getting back to your feet. For Tommy, if I was his trainer, he won the fight. Congratulations, you did good. I'm gonna start passing the guard. Look, look here. here. Look at the replay of the final round again. Grab Martin the leg. Sandoval had a couple of nice kicks, but almost every time he threw it, Vargas would just pick that leg up and even, like you said, threw a right hand on the way down. He's landing and scoring. He's just doing enough to make sure that's going to guarantee him victory. And we can see over there, uh, Sandoval seems to be injured. to hold his arm gingerly. He might have hurt him when he got taken down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like it does hurt. Calling for a medic to come in. Maybe something dislocated or... I think he just wants a shirt for the first sponsor to oh. be happy. <laughs> Gotta make those sponsors happy. Maybe he can just drape it over. I don't think he wants to lift that left arm up to put it on. Maybe just put it on halfway. Or somebody can just hold it up in front of him. Like Definitely definitely something wrong with that arm. You can see the way he's holding it. Yeah. Didn't see it during the fight, though. Give him credit there. I mean, uh, you know, who knows at what point he hurt it. He fought through it, that's for sure. Are they going to put this shirt on him? How are they going to do this? Uh, what the hell? Unfortunately, I think he's going to come on a losing end. Yeah, I don't think it'll be a split. It looks like it'll be a unanimous decision. Speaking of decisions, uh, let's go ahead and get one from our ring announcer. And let's throw it up to the cage to Mr. Joe Martinez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, after three exciting rounds, we go to the scorecards one more time. Fight fans, how about a hand for both of these fighters inside the cage? Here are the judges' scoring totals. Judges Ray Balowitz and Jason McCoy have it 30 to 27, while Judge Steve Morrow has it 29 to 28. All three for your winner by unanimous decision, Tommy Vargas!